coward warriors and fear not pain or death. Go, officer. I'll follow when our reinforcements arrive. Hey folks, this is Vagrant. Welcome back. It's very weird playing the Officer of a Shotgun. Welcome back to Halo 2. In the last video then, we started to look for the sacred icon, the key that will activate the halo upon which we stand. Now, I did a little research, not giving myself any spoilers, but trying to, uh... I'm gonna ride... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna uh, you know what? I'll just ride in it. I mean, at least let me in. <laughs> at the very least, let me in the bloody thing. Now you don't have a gunner. You're a big dummy. It'll die eventually. It'll die eventually. It'll die eventually. There we go. Anyways, yeah, so I did a little research just into general because I felt like I was getting it wrong via the halos and what they're called because I know we kind of um, went back and forth in that regard. So I double checked because I've been seeing Zeta Halo a lot and Zeta Halo actually just isn't very relevant at this point in time. You know what? I'm going to drive. <laughs> Let me drive. Get in the back. Get in the back. Thank you. Um. Come down. Right, you're only allowed to use the turret if you actually shoot things. Sh kill it! Fire! What are you doing? What's he doing? Use the gun in front of your face, you absolute madman. But you can't be trusted, clearly. If I could do both jobs at once, I would do both jobs at once. <laughs> Bloody Nora. Go for it! <laughs> I got myself super killed. He just, he doesn't fire. He just, he didn't... Uh, yeah, I need to get in the back. What I really want is the, uh, the ghost, actually. I've got it. Okay, come on, get in. Drive the goddamn vehicle! <laughs> I'll take care of this nonsense, thank you very much. Oh god, it's two of them. Come on, round the corner. There we go. Good lad. Good lad. Oh, you need to drive, but I can't do anything from this position. I'm getting in the ghost. The music's awesome, though. <laughs> Unfortunately, the ghost has very um, slow uh, firing nodules, I guess I'm going to call it. Oh, there it goes. I'm pretty sure there was a guy in that ghost that just went tumbling off the edge. Yeah! We all good? Well, he's still going. Oh, wow, you're a baddie ghost. I didn't realize. Is that flood driving a ghost? I've never seen that before. Don't mind if I do. Oh! Oh, never mind! Oh, it looks kind of ruined. I think I can see if it goes. Oh, This is awesome. <laughs> Don't get in the tank. Don't get in the tank. I don't know if you can, but please don't get in the tank. Hey! That's shoving off the bloody edge. Ah. Tough little. I mean, the, the ghosts, uh, they're standing up to a lot of brutality on my part. Right, anyways, yeah, so what I was trying to say. Um, so, although I've been talking about Zeta Halo a lot, it's actually not relevant at all. Well, it is, but not, like, right now necessarily. The Halo in Halo 1 is Halo Alpha, which makes a lot of sense, right? Yo, who's got a Wraith? 
I don't think it's us. <laughs> the Halo and Halo 1 is Halo Alpha. This Halo, the one we're on now, is Halo Delta. Now, the reason I suspect Halo Zeta was on my mind... No, can I get in this? Let's find out. Why not, eh? Drive a Scorpion while playing as the Arbiter. Cool. Little achievement. Love a little achievement. It's really hard to tell who's a goodie, who's a baddie. I think I'm just going to blow everything up. <laughs> it's the only safe way to approach this, honestly. Buddy! Alright, there you go. <clears throat> Anyways, so yeah, this is Halo Delta. So obviously this is the one that the Prophet found when he uh, escaped from Earth through the slipstream. And we followed him and that's how we found it as well. I don't think I can get him over there. Um, Halo Zeta has come up and that's probably why it's, it's, on, it's on my head because Halo Zeta is where Halo Infinite is based for one thing. But also because in Halo 1, when 343 Guilty Spark is trying to activate the Halo to destroy all life in the universe, that is not Halo Alpha that he's activating, it's Halo Zeta. He's activating Halo Zeta remotely. So that's probably where I've heard it fairly recently as well, outside of the context. That's a great show. <laughs> outside of the context of... Um, Halo Infinite, we have heard mention of it in the Halo series. Now, Halo Zeta... Oh, hello. <laughs> what's, what's this? What is going on? Put me down, <laughs> cheeky. Now, Halo Zeta, interestingly enough, so basically there were a bunch of Halos created by the Forerunners a long time ago. There was 12 of them. And they were all gigantic. Uh, 30 billion years, billion miles wide. 30-something miles wide. I can't remember what the actual number is. And they all got destroyed at some point during the Forerunner slash Flood War. I think the Forerunners were battling against the Flood. Oh, hello. And, um... So all those ended up getting destroyed, except one, and the one that survived is actually Halo Zeta, but it took a lot of damage and it became much smaller. It became about the size of the other Halos. So there's 12 and then there's only one. Um, but then... Scorpion's a beast. Who is shooting at me? Ah! It's a little dude! The scariest of all the dudes. But yeah, so during the Forerunner Flood War, you know, the Flood are trying to spread around the entire universe, with the Grave Mines and stuff like that. The Grave Mind, um, or at least the Proto Grave Mind, is that thing we saw in Halo 1, which had captured uh, Cap uh, Captain Keys, remember, and was trying to, was trying to um, absorb his memories to find out where Earth was, and we had to punch him through his skull, essentially. When we were on the uh, Covenant ship, I believe the Truth and Reconciliation. And the Flood were trying to take over the Truth and Reconciliation and use it as like a transport vessel for themselves. Um, what was I saying? Anyways, yeah, so so all the Halo rings were destroyed except that one. And then the uh, the four bearers... Four runners? Four bearers? Four bearers? Four runners? I actually don't remember. <laughs> oh, wait, where's the... Um... After entering the... Okay, we're looking for a burning building, which I guess is that thing over there for the terminal. Um, but they did go and they created more Halos. <clears throat> they created six more, which are the ones that we're now playing on, basically. Um... So Halo Alpha, Halo Delta, all of those. And they're actually called like Installation 1, Installation 5 I think is the first one, Installation 7, stuff like that, rather than Alpha, Delta, that's like the human name. So Halo Z, so actually I think, okay, at the start of Halo 1 I believe there's seven Halo rings, there's the six later ones, smaller ones that the Forerunners uh, created. I think it's six. Might be seven. I think it's six. And then there's the one remaining one from the first set, which is, of course, Halo Zeta, which is what they tried to activate, and the one where uh, Halo Infinite is going to be set as well. 
Did I get all that right? Whoa! <laughs> that rocket was a monster. I'm a little nervous about this because this has taken some damage. It is getting a little bit wishy-washy. But I don't feel like hopping out is a good idea. I really can't tell if that's on my team. These wraiths. I'm assuming so. But it could be the flood. I think it probably is more likely to be the flood fighting against... Um, like the flutter in the wraiths. And the fighting against the... I can't remember what these big rubits are called. They're sentinels, but they're like a variance on the sentinels. I can't remember what their name is. Right, let's be a little bit more careful here. Mainly for the rocket dude. I think it was just a dude with a rocket launcher, you know. So I'm, I'm going to poke my head down. And then back up. There we go. All you're trying to do there is trigger the... Uh, spawn, essentially. There'll be a certain point in this tunnel here which tells the game, send enemies. Try to make it happen. There we go. Hey, checkpoint. Do I have people behind me? I don't know if this is a good idea, boys. This vehicle is, uh, <laughs> it's on its last legs. It looks so weird having all of these elites on a, uh, on a tank. It's him there. He's the guy who killed me. Car alarm. Okay, well, it's not this way. I suspect it might actually be time to get out of the vehicle. I can't go down there, and I'm pretty sure I can't go down here. Well, I hope you enjoyed the ride, guys. So, yeah, this is Halo Delta, and Halo Alpha has been destroyed, so that would mean there are seven... Halo rings at this point in time still remaining. Right? I don't know how correct all that was, but that is my current understanding, I guess. Eh! Eh! eh. Right, I kind of just kept destroying the wraith. <laughs> all I wanted to do was kill the guy. Oh, Wraith has got some movement on it. Boy, howdy. Alright, where's the big boy? He's fighting. Oh, there he is. Ooh. Okay, cool. <laughs> Still alive. Whoa! Ay! My scorpion! Wait, no, it's green. They're helping me. Sorry, guys. I <laughs> just trying to kill my own people. Uh, right, I suspect I'm going down. I don't know where I'm going, actually. Probably down here. This is where I came from. Are you bad or good? Bad. It's so hard to tell! <laughs> But I mean, I guess if they're coming from this direction, we could probably assume they're not on the, the side of righteousness. Cool. Bad, right? I want to steal it. I will acknowledge how incredibly risky this play is. <laughs> no! Oh, they shot me with the, um, the gun right at the very end. Otherwise, I probably would have made it. I'm going to try again. I'm gonna just kill it. Usually you can trust a flood tank to uh, a flood vehicle I should say to miss quite a few shots, right? But the tank is so easy to aim, you're just pointing and shooting. You don't have to adjust for anything like you do with the Wraith, so it's not quite the same deal. Oh my god, this is horrible. So many enemies. So many enemies. The Wraith is not built <laughs> to take down Sentinels. The big guys are actually a lot easier to kill because at least I can hit them. This has to be so specific to hit. Whew. Putting the work in here. I think there's a clean Wraith over here. Uh, it's not clean, but maybe cleaner. Come 
Come on. Yeah! I suspect I'm going vehicleless. Anyway, right, so. After entering the burning building, follow the hallways till you enter a room. Once in the room, stay on the ground floor, follow the wall underneath the exit to find the terminal. So, burning building. I think we can safely assume. Follow the hallways till you enter a room. But, uh, yeah, that's about all I wanted to check up on is what all the different halos were and where we were and get a little bit better context, basically. Yo, it's a flood it's a flood elite. I don't think I've actually maybe they've all been flood elites, but I've not actually looked at one of those. That's crazy looking. What was that? Saw something. What was it? I want it. Oh. God the shotgun sucks against these things. I guess that's why this is here, right? Oh, that was really bad. <laughs> Just in general, that was really bad. I swear, I knew, I knew there was something. Oh yeah. Oh, it's a big boy. Jesus, he's an absolute monster. It must be because he's an elite one, right? So, like, um, he's still got the shield, which also human characters usually don't. Leave me alone. So many of them. That might be the terminal right there. <laughs> Got a terrifying room to clear out first. Ammo! There we go. You just know there's going to be a beam lying around somewhere. I just want to make sure these sentinels are dead before I do anything else. Okay, big boy. Let's dance. Maybe not. Soon, big boy. Soon we shall dance. Huh. Huh. Go away. Jesus. Yeah! I felt pretty cool. What are you guys even firing at, unironically? Oh, there's flood there. Hey, flood. I don't know if I'm crazy, but it feels like the blue beam... Right, this is nuts. I'm just getting this and getting out. It's constant. Most unusual that in all the exploits of these arbiters, you never mention their role in choosing their missions of redemption. There is no role, Oracle. Once one of our commanders becomes an arbiter, he belongs to the hierarchs. These hierarchs, they are the same high prophets who control all the holy relics you collect from my time? The same. And they use these relics to build your new weapons? and bring you the word of your gods? It has always been so. Interesting. Am I a holy relic? I... I do not understand. Because I am certainly not a god. I am a tool, as is this mining platform you stand upon. 
as was the installation that once orbited the planet. The Forerunner's technology is lasting and indeed quite powerful, but I'm quite certain they would have told me if I was infused with some kind of divine power. I suspect some of your prophets may have been quite aware of how much divine inspiration tools such as myself could provide. And you never question these proclamations. Even your mightiest warriors, these arbiters, never questioned? Questioning was what brought shame to the word Arbiter long ago, Oracle. How disappointing. I fear now that there are many questions we should have been asking for a long, long time. I would be more than happy to answer any such questions, but I have a few more for you. Continue your tale of these Arbiters. Hmm. So, really just talking about how... The, um, the prophets have been using the seeming, I mean, I don't know, from my perspective, it seems prophets probably do believe in some form of uh, holiness to the relics, you know, of the, the forerunners stuff, but not necessarily, maybe it's like not to the level that they've been claiming, basically. But maybe I'm wrong entirely. Maybe they don't at all. <clears throat> Either way, clearly the Forerunners have been using the perceived holiness of Forerunner... Wait, the Prophets have been... Sorry. The Prophets have been using the perceived holiness and perceived importance of Forerunner artifacts as sort of source for their divine inspiration and all this kind of... And, and the great plan, the great journey. Whereas in reality, the Forerunners were... Yeah, a highly, ad a highly advanced race and everything, but they weren't divine beings or anything like that, they were just a race. Hey. And, uh, actually the Forerunners, um, went extinct because of the Flood. Another thing I was reading. Yeah, screw you. <laughs> um, the Forerunners, the Flood were basically overtaking the entire universe, and the Forerunners, after many, many sort of like, oh, Oh my god, hello. Yeah, okay. <laughs> there was no one there, and then suddenly there's a billion flood. I probably have to fight my way through here, realistically. Oh, ammo for this needler. I'll do. Um. What was I saying? So, yeah, after many, like, desperate, desperate fights with the flood, the forerunners basically. What did I just say? Decided to activate the Halo. I can't remember which Halo ring they activated, but they activated a Halo ring. And that's how they, uh, that's how they defeat the Flood, basically. He's got a sword! <laughs> hey, thanks, big robot. That guy had a rocket launcher. <laughs> Hello? I know you're here, Flood. Let's stop fiffing and faffing around. Shoot that a couple times. Go. I mean, to an extent, I may as well let them fight it out a little bit, right? Yeah. Oh, ah, of course it's a rocket launch guy. Perfect. No, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh no, my rocket launcher. Where's it, oh no. Stop it. Where's it gone? Right, the problem is it's got a bloody big old shield. Then you get behind it. It's like a Dark Souls boss. I know I made this reference a lot, but it works. You just need to get underneath it and like behind it a little bit, and they just really struggle to get you. Yeah, I wanted to lock on. 
Uh, there must be another gun around here. I just need anything. I can't not do. All right, good stuff. All right, so, yeah, after trying that out just then, I mean, I, this is one thing I forgot to Google. It does appear the orange beam is better against the flood and the blue beam is better against the sentinels. I don't know if I'm... That, that could honestly be cognitive bias, but it does feel like it. Although, it doesn't feel particularly good right now, it must be said. It's because I've got shields on them. He's like, that was a very tough flood right there. Let's try it again. Yum, yum, yum. As they say in the clubs. <laughs> you don't know. That's the last time you went to a club, alright? No one's going to the club. We're in quarantine. This is nuts, man! They're everywhere! I can't go this way to get away from the flood behind me because there's another billion flood and they don't die. So I need to stay outside. Ow. 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 Hey, come on, little robot. You do your thing. I think they killed the little robot. This is monstrous. Can I just point that out? Absolutely monstrous. They're so strong. It's nuts. I got them shield, man. Oh my god. I trust in the power of the sword. It's never let me down before. Or ammo? No. Okay. Gotta keep replenishing. I'm surprised the um you know a little bit like the 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 tank, the 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 shaft <laughs> of the uh the blue one isn't blue. Like this one's red and it's red, right? That makes sense. But well, it's orange and it's red. Which is fine. It seemed logical to me for it to go the other way as well. Ah! God damn it. <laughs> this is so difficult, it's crazy. Good old Needler. Good old Needler. Never mind all your other fancy weapons. Bloody Needler's all you need. Oh, I might get that shotgun, actually. Bloody shotgun's all you need. Spooky. Where's this firm flaming key? Huh. You can see sometimes where you fire at them. And it takes another hit to kill them, because all you see is like the blue go. You know what I mean? And <laughs> the exit to this place is not the same as last time. You guys do it. Melee sucks against the flood. I've got to keep that in mind. Uh, what's the way out? How do I get in here, first of all? It's got to be down here. Very creepy little place, this. Is this where I came? This is where I came. Oh, it's over there. I 
That's a lot of Ruperts. I don't feel particularly well equipped to take him down. Because <laughs> that hurts quite a lot. Nope. Nip. I mean, shotgun's not much better, though. Eh, shotgun's not bad, actually. Ooh, cheeky little sniper rifle. Now, there's got to be a reason they're giving me a cheeky little sniper rifle, you would think, so... Come here, you. <laughs> it was so bad. Oh! Oh, no! <laughs> this is much worse. Leave me alone! <sighs> right. Beam. Sh rocket launcher. If only temporarily. Because I suspect there's something big to kill. Like that Wraith, for example. Aw, oh, you cheeky little player! That was pretty good. Oh, my bad, my let me up! Eh! 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 Alright, that's all I have to do. And then we can hop off. And then we can drive. Oh, there's a ghost! Never mind the wraith. Don't mind if I do. A nice brand new ghost is basically the sexiest thing in Halo. <laughs> Don't need no stinking wraith. Wait, maybe we should kill this first. I feel like this is a scarier target. Whoa! Whoa! At least I've got some sky, uh, air resistance. Escort, I guess you'd call it if you were a normal human being. Down. Oh wait, they're on my side. Sorry guys. I'm not very good at paying attention to that. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa! Whoa, 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 Nelly. How very dare you. It's not even a wraith, that's like a platform thing. I'm going to take this roof down. Nice try, buddy. What you going to do now? Going to turn around, you clever little duck. Want to die already? Jesus Christ. Took some work, that. Ah, bloody Nora. Uh, tank, I think, top priority for this one. Maybe I want the tank. I do want the tank. Thank you. Bloody hell. Everyone's trying to kill everyone, and I'm just trying to survive. <laughs> it's literally a three-way war. I wonder if they ever do a four-way war. You know, stick the humans in this situation, and that's probably what it comes. Probably on my side? Yeah. I wonder at what point the Arbiter's going to realise what's going on here. Like, am I on board with the Great Fire, the Great Cleansing? I don't know if I really know about that as my character, you know. Like, if I'm really, truly aware of what getting this key is going to do. Really, I'm being driven by, you know, shame and wanting to reclaim my honor in the face of the prophets and my people, more than anything else. What the hell is shooting at me? Oh, you cheeky player. 
Because I suspect the, the <laughs> scorpion's going to be a bit harder to get now. I don't know why it got abandoned last time. I did again. Alright. Mm, maybe what I should do. I don't know if this is smart or not. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa, Nelly! My theory, this is probably going to get me killed if I don't get a move on, was to do some work in my ghost so that my scorpion would take less damage, basically. Buddy Wraith, Buddy Wraith. Okay, now I want to stay a little bit further back. I'm really apprehensive about the things that killed me from above last time. I'm so confused. What got me last time? I swear I was getting shot by like it felt it seemed like a sniper rifle or something like that. I don't even know where they would be. Oh, uh, hell bad, hell bad. Oh, hello. <laughs> hell fun though. <laughs> hell bad but fun. Most bad things are good for you anyway. And most bad things are fun. And fun is good for you, so therefore, all bad things are good for you. We should get out of the way! I know we're on the same side, but we're not going to be for long if you keep playing up like this. Must be in from up there. Whoa, whoa, whoa! All there? Fucking hell. Did I just lose all of that progress? No, I got a checkpoint, I remember. Just blow him to goddamn smithereens. Right. This right hand side. They're gonna open? guys. <laughs> there's, a, there's a flood. I need him. I guess I'm hopping out anyway. Oh my god. That won't do. Everyone good to go? Let's roll. I'll find this blimp lambing key. Cool. Oh, I've decided to play um, Halo Wars as well. I was looking into what else would add to the story. Now, Halo Wars and Halo Wars 2 don't seem to be directly a part of the story, but there's like little hints, and especially Halo Wars 2 is going to help us set up Halo Infinite as far as I know. Um, so we're going to be playing Halo Wars next, because in terms of chronological order, which is what I'm doing, because we started with Halo Reach, which chronologically comes first, in terms of the main Halo games, Halo Wars takes place before any of the others, basically. So it will be the first one we play, so we'll have to go back, basically. More humans. They must be after the Icon. On your way, Arbiter. I'll deal with these beasts. I 
received that coward didn't join you. I'll do what I can to keep the flood off your back. It also means the next game we're playing is Halo 3 ODST rather than Halo 3. I mean, we're playing Halo Wars, then Halo 3 ODST, then Halo 3, then Halo 4, then Halo 5, then Halo Wars 2, then Halo Infinite. I believe that is the correct order. Um, it's a long-ass level. Like I said, we may mix things up with other games in the meantime, so it's not just all Halo all the time. <laughs> Oh, that's a good waste of all my grenades. <laughs> Immensely proud of what I just achieved. <laughs> wow, this gun is bad against these guys. You needler. Oh boy. Getting a little crazy. Jesus Christ! Wish I had my grenades. <laughs> oh, that's madness. I did not expect quite so much resistance. Right, okay. Oh, now I'm back here. Fantastic. Can I have your needler, please? You can't trade with um, elites like you can with humans. Is there a gun anywhere else? I'm gonna keep my grenades this time at the very least. See a bloody thing, do da. That grenade must have done some serious work. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> God, needless, not great against them either. You really need physical weapons, you know, against the flood. You're my only dude alive. I don't know why they're all standing there, I'll admit. Come on, you! Let's dance, big boy! Oh, well, all my friends are dead. <laughs> it's like that dinosaur birthday card. There's gotta be a ton of guns around here. Uh, the shotgun has no ammo. If I hide another shotgun, I'll swap back to it, but I think dual SMG is probably the best bet. Plus it looks bold though, must be said. Uh here. We'll miss being able to grenade though. Doing it's so weird. Are they trying to sneak? It's hard to tell. 
I don't know what they're attempting, but it's not very effective. Whoa, that might have been. I see. I knew it was coming, but I was like, well, I have to go around the corner, obviously. <laughs> there we go. That's the aggression. <laughs> Shotgun, man. Ah! That bloody shotgun. Oh, come off it, game. God damn it. So much work. See if I didn't get a single freaking checkpoint. I don't want to look up ahead. Nothing that way but pain and destruction. You guys are all going to die, and it will be all my fault. One of them fell off the edge at least. He's dead already. That's one way to do it. It's not, it's not the right way to do it, but it's one way. Oh, guys. Guys. I dislike this. <laughs> this isn't fun. Why do I need to get rid of the snow? The snow is cool. And it doesn't make sense to get rid of the snow because it's snowy. I suppose, I mean, it can be snowy and not being snowy right now, though. That's fine. All right, this time. Come on. Come on. Who rides with... I, oh. Hoorah to ashes, Marines. Hoorah to ashes. I guess they're saying the clubs. Keep my boys alive as long as humanly possible, you know. Guys, help! Assist! He wants me. I want his sword. Where's his sword gone? Did you steal his? Someone's got a decent gun. I'm really not convinced that double SMGs is the way to go. You're just, just losing the ability to throw grenades is like pretty bad. But they're all alive this time. All my boys. All four of them. That man. That elite right there. Is a mad lad. <laughs> of the highest order. Tell you what. Bloody works. Nailed this. All four of them still alive. Checkpoint done. Absolutely smashed it. Although I got to this point last time and there was no checkpoint, did I? Oh, we're going up. That's interesting. Maybe we didn't get this far last time. Well done, guys! Any chance that's got more? Let's go slice and dice, yeah. All of us. I love that sharp edge that the plasma blood's got in this fight. It's still curvy, but that point at the side looks a lot better, I would say. Oh, Nelly. Oh, Nelly. Whoa, Nelly. Whoa. Oh. I used, to <laughs> I used my own guy as like a grenade dispenser, essentially. Whoa! <laughs> I might be dead. But at least my guy comes back alive, I can try to save him. And by save him, I mean not expressly kill him, basically.
Tell you what, I'd love a shotgun now. I like your glowing legs. They're very cool. Oh, you can take it. It was exhilarating. You're not wrong, pal. You're not wrong. I feel like the sword is genuinely really good, but you have to be pretty cautious of how you're using it, which is um, essentially the opposite of what I'm doing. <laughs> Keep ending. How is this section so difficult? Honestly, it's crazy. Why do I keep picking the sword up when I know I'm not going to use it? I think it's so difficult. How many times have I died from falling off an edge of this game? And it's happened twice in a row. Doing a madness, ladies and gentlemen. Doing an absolute madness. Come here. Right, they're going to come from here, right? Did not work as planned. Did not work as planned. Every gun sucks against the floor, <laughs> except the shotgun. Bloody hell, the auto aim on that is insane. You see how much I was moving there? I was not moving at all. That's pretty cool. I shot off his arm that had the uh, sword. Sword is a dangerous thing because it flies you forward at like crazy speed. Oh my god, all my guys died. Ah, oh, this is horrible. I don't know if I want this. I'm gonna take it anyway. Why well, want this bloody shotgun? I swear I saw a shotgun lying around. It seems to have faded out by now. This is quite difficult. Ooh. That's my uh, song. I guess you don't need me. <laughs> the SMG just does no damage. Try to keep my guy alive as long as possible. Ah! That was going well. I didn't even see the grenade. Where did it come from? The flood throw grenades? Guys, what is this level? I mean, that was silly. That's just like you know that one annoying little death that you get, and it doesn't really mean much. But still, still. What up here? Let's run away this time. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Thank you. Right. This is the attempt. This right here. Da -ga -da -ga -da -ga -da. Aim for the head. Like a zombie. Got a shotgun! He's got a shotgun! I want it, but I'm dead again! This is madness! Absolute madness! There's so much damage when I go. If I got that shotgun, I reckon I can do it. The shotgun is everything against these guys, it really is. My god! This is nutty. Ow. It's 
See, the funny thing is, if I stand here, they don't spawn from there. Maybe that's the technique, right? I stand here, they don't spawn from there. Force them to spawn from less places, and then these ones will spawn later, maybe. Usually they spawn from here first, but now they're spawning over there, as you can see. Oh, it lasts for long. <laughs> the plan was not a good plan. But at least it was a plan. Auto aim, you need to calm down! Bloody hell, what is. Wait, what is going on here? It's going absolutely mad. It's just flying around all over the place. It's crazy. I don't know if it is auto aim, just going utterly bonkers. It feels like it. How many there are, man? The shotgun. Yeah. I got a checkpoint. God, the shotgun's good. <laughs> right. Do you mind? Good job, lads. One of them died. One of one of our guys died. Not so far, I suppose. Oh boy! Oh, there's still quite a lot left. Have no fear. Shotgun is near. One dude left. Ah, oh, that was tough. Give me my checkpoint, please. Hey, pal. Hurry, Arbiter. Get the icon. We will protect this vessel. May be our only means of escape. Retrieve the icon, Arbiter. I want it. That was genuinely really hard work. <laughs> that was not easy at all. Whew. Alright, let's get this bloody icon and get the hell out of here. Uh, an awfully suspicious scene in front of me here. Well, the humans definitely got here first. Did we get here first? Did we do this as Master Chief? We did just go through a library. Ah, oh, that was his hospital then. Oh, no, I remember. The, she went off separately from the Chief. The Chief went for the Prophet, she went for the, um, for the Icon. You know, your father never asked me for help either. The index is secure. Mackenzie, Perez, how's our exit? You hear me, Marines? We well, got trouble. Your responsibility. Now it is mine. 
A bloody fate awaits you and the rest of your incompetent race. And I, Tartarus, chieftain of the brutes, will send you to it. When the prophets learn of this, that they will take your head. When they learn. <laughs> Fool. They ordered me to do it. Damn. Grave mind. The prophets have the index and plan to use it over your dead body. <sighs> That's what the tentacles were. They were the grave mind. time with talk. There is much talk, and I have listened through rock and metal and time. Now I shall talk, and you shall listen. Greetings. I am 2401 Penitent Tech. I am the monster of installation 05. And I am the prophet of regret, council of most high... Hierarch of the Covenant! A reclaimer? Here? At last! We have much to do! This facility must be activated if we are to control this outbreak! Just stay where you are! Nothing can be done until my sermon is complete! Not true. This installation has a successful utilization record of 1.2 trillion simulated in one actual. It is ready to fire on demand. Of all the objects our lords left behind, there are none so worthless as these oracles. They know nothing of the great journey! And you know nothing about containment. You have demonstrated complete disregard for even the most basic protocols. This one's containment. <laughs> and this one's great journey are the same. <laughs> Your prophets have promised you freedom from a doomed existence. But you will find no salvation on this ring. Those who built this place knew what they wrought. Do not mistake their intent, or all will perish as they did before. This thing is right. Halo is a weapon. Your prophets are making a big mistake. Your ignorance already destroyed one of the sacred rings, demon. It shall not harm another. If you will not hear the truth, then I will show it to you. There is still time to stop the key from turning. But first it must be found. You will search one likely spot. And you will search another. Fate hath us meet as foes, but this ring will make us brothers. We are, all of us, gravely concerned. The release of the parasite was unexpected, unfortunate, but there is no need to panic. In truth, this is a time to rejoice, a moment that all the Covenant should savor. For the sacred icon has been found. With it, our path is clear, our entry into the divine beyond guaranteed. 
The great journey is nigh, and nothing, not even the flood, can stop it. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> Kill the demons! Man, this game is bonkers. <laughs> it's so much more crazy than Halo 1 in so many ways. Oh, awesome. Um, so, that was the Grave Mind. Just like a humongous flood organism, I suppose. Obviously, the flood operate under the instruction of the Grave Mind. I assume that Grave Mind is like. The major one because we've seen like little baby ones before like i said the one on truth and reconciliation but that's like the big daddy <laughs> i don't know if that's the biggest daddy but it's definitely a big daddy it seems like a biggest daddy i'm gonna stop saying daddy um so Arbiter master chief finally together Arbiter's are still not convinced the the prophet's continuously betraying him and fucking him over and he still you know follows every word they say but he'll he'll learn eventually and obviously the grave mind you know, we're acting in mutual interest here. The Grave Mind does not want Halo to be activated because he'll die. <laughs> it will wipe out the flood. That was its intent in the first place. So the Grave Mind has to use us as its weapons in order to stop the ring. It's interesting that all three factions, basically, are now united under a common goal to stop the Prophets from activating Halo. It's a pretty cool story. I'm glad that I've done this. This whole... Halo thing because I don't know I feel like already like I've also got many games to go and I know it gets a lot more convoluted and that's one of the criticisms people had of like Halo 5 and Halo 4 especially but I feel much more up to date with the story than I ever have been in the past because it's the first time I've really played through all the games in order it's the first time I've really played through the games and actually paid attention to what's going on instead of just me shoot click <laughs> I click button thing die <laughs> so yeah exciting stuff uh, next video, Gravemind. Thank you for joining me. Cheers, much as always. Bye bye. Hit the wrong button. Ah.